Hi guys, this is the all new Honda City RS. It's a world premiere. There's no City EHEV RS in the world except for Malaysia. And uh, I thought I'd run you through a few interesting facts about this car. First of all, the engine is on now. But as you can, as you can hear, the petrol engine is off. So this IMMD system is very, very complex and uh, there are other videos explaining it better but basically think of this as an electric car that uses a petrol engine to charge the batteries as needed so anytime it needs, it will just start up without warning um, but most of the time it's going to be using an electric motor and it's not just a new motor that's in the RS what they've also done is they've changed a lot of the chassis you know, behind the scenes parts and one of the things that is very different here which you can almost see is behind the engine there's a variable tinsulate material which is only on the RS model you don't get it with the standard petrol models and that helps to make the car even quieter than you'd expect so already this fifth generation model with the petrol model or the hybrid model they all come with the spray foam that goes into the B pillars and the A pillars so that already creates better NPH this RS model goes a step further and gives you a little variable tinsulate material behind the engine. Okay, now let's go to the back and I'll show you another component of this whole IMMD system which changes how the fifth city, the fifth generation city is compared to the petrol model. Okay. So around the back here you have the boot of course and you if you are wondering where the batteries are they're actually down here you'll have to lift up the back side of this cover and that's the IPU the intelligent power unit which as you can see has Malay writing on it because it's made in Malacca it's assembled in Malacca by six highly trained uh, personnel so the IPU actually takes up quite a bit of room and it decreases the volume of space in here but we saw them load up this boot with three or four pieces of luggage and it is quite reasonably sized for a B-segment uh, B sedan uh, but yeah, you have to take note of that that's what's also different on the EHEV variant now let's step inside the front driver seat and see what's up So inside here, Honda has given the city a few special treatments, especially for the RS model. First of all, you get like piano black trim pieces on the dashboard here. And then you get this red stitching on the upholstery. And then if you look at the seats, they've actually combined a few different materials. You get suede on the inside, and then you get leather on the outside, and a little bit of fabric. So all these different materials combined into one seat. And this is exclusive for the RS variant only. On the steering, you still get some red stitching which you don't get on the other variants. Here, you get stitching as well. And then one thing very important to note, this is the first B-segment sedan to have an electric parking brake. So, simple as that. On the other variants, the petrol variants, you get a regular manual cable handbrake over here. So this entire segment is redesigned just for the hybrid version. Okay, another thing that you get on this hybrid EHEV model is a 7-inch digital display on the instrument cluster. And that will sort of give you a lot of different information. You can go in here, you can change a lot of different things. You can look at the power or charge. See, the engine just kicked in. It's not to drive the car, it's to charge up the batteries because we've been sitting here and the aircon's running for 5-6 minutes. The battery, the IPU at the back is getting low on charge so the petrol motor just came in. Not because I pressed anything, it just came in to charge when it felt like it. Uh, so yeah, you get that 7 inch display here. This 8 inch unit, this comes on the higher spec petrol models. You, it also comes with the Honda Lane Watch on the uh, higher petrol models. Auto aircon also on the petrol model. So all this, you will see it in other uh, versions of the fifth generation city. But what you won't see is the digital display over here and the red illumination over here, red stitching 
and the combination seats. So, because it's also an RS model on top of being an EHEV model, you get all these little extras. Even the pedals, if you pay attention, it is actually covered with these aluminum alloy uh, pedal covers, and that's only because it's an RS model. And because it's a new city, Honda have done a few more tricks to make the car itself a bit more spacious than before. So they've sculpted the seats to be a little bit thinner. So as you can see, I was sitting in front just now, I didn't adjust anything. I got in the back, I still have maybe 5-10 centimeters of room for my knees. They even made the seats a little bit uh, higher up, I think. A little bit thinner at the bottom, so my feet can comfortably tuck underneath the front seats. And I have big, I have big feet, so this is a big deal for me in a B segment sedan to fit comfortably. They've also sculpted the seats in a different way from the fourth generation. So I'm, I think, the biggest person on this team, and I still fit in this car pretty well. And there's an armrest with some cup holders. Down here, you even get aircon vents. It's, the aircon vents are actually standard on all of the new city models, they all get these But on the higher variants, you get these two power sockets at the bottom So those are some of the highlights, some hidden, some you may have known already A very interesting car, whether you're looking for a B-segment sedan in general Or if you want some electrified sedan for the first time in your life This is where you can find it